Hi, Phyllis here from southernfrugal.com. Well, I had a request uh, to uh, do a video on how I make uh, meals and then freeze them. And I don't, it's not really meals, but I make individual things. And uh, what I did, I think it was last Saturday. Hold on, let me turn this up. I made uh, Salisbury steak because I had gotten some really nice lean hamburger on sale. And so I made, um, on Saturday, I, I think it made about eight meals. And then I also did uh, spaghetti meals and froze them. And part of the reason for that is so we could uh, take some meals up to Mountain Rest when we go and I wouldn't have to, you know, like cook meat or whatever. And mainly because we've got a gas stove and it really heats up that little travel trailer. So, I wanted to do this sort of in reverse. Uh, this is a little packet of the Salisbury steak and I froze it on June the 5th. This is the, what, 13th. And the way I did it is I made the Salisbury steak and I used the fresh mushrooms and made the gravy. So I've got two patties in here and they're about three, maybe four ounces each. And what I'll do is thaw this out because it's solidly frozen now in the microwave. All right, so that'll be our meat and a little bit of gravy. I'm making the potatoes and I just cut those in quarters. I didn't even peel them. And I'm gonna boil them. They'll be ready in about 20 minutes. Also, I'm cooking some baby limas. Now this uh, Laura Lynn is an Ingalls brand, Ingalls grocery store, and I got these in Mountain Rest and uh, brought them home in the cooler with some other frozen stuff. And this is some spinach, and it says the last date is June the 12th. It still looks pretty good to me. And uh, so what I'm going to do is just cook this and snip it up and maybe put a little Parmesan cheese on it and a little bit of garlic. So that'll be our greens for the meal. So we've got lima beans. I'm going to cook the spinach, which will cook in like about two or three minutes. And uh, I'm going to make cream potatoes. And the meat will be the Salisbury steak. And again, that, that might be, one of these might be four ounces, but we try to stick with just three. So I'll thaw this out in the microwave. And these are the last of my angel biscuits. And so I'll put these in the little toaster oven and thaw those out. All right, so when I get all this ready, we'll be back. Okay, we are back and ready to get this meal together. Now for the spinach, I'm going to use, let's put some store-bought Parmesan cheese in it. I've already cut the burner off. And a couple little sprinkles of garlic powder. Stir that around. Doesn't, now the spinach, of course, cooks down to nothing once you uh, bring it to a boil or steam it. So there's still a little bit of water in there. All right, so that's it for the spinach right there. So I've got my burner turned off. Now my lima beans are done. So I'm going to put just a speck of butter in those. Got this really cheap salt grinder thing at Aldi and it works good because it has a little lid you can put on it to keep the salt from you know getting moisture and getting all clogged up so I'll put that just a little bit in those lima beans and my potatoes are all done so I've got the burner off on the lima beans now for the potatoes I'm going to drain the water so we'll be right back in just a second. Okay, so I drained that water and I'm going to take some of the skins off of these. I'm going to push this off that burner because it's still hot. So let's see if we can figure out how to do that without getting burned. Getting a little off. Uh, Oh, there it is. This looks like something that you would use in a hospital, right? So I'm just take some of those skins off. 
just put them in this lid for right now. And some of the skins I'm going to leave on there, but I don't want all of them on there. figure out how to do this. Just pull them off real quick and that way you don't get burned. Yeah, I had to run out to the garden. Okay, that's my, uh, my microwave. The uh, Salisbury steak is, steak is all ready. Alright, I need to get some that are easy to get off here. Hold on. easier way to do this, but I'm in a hurry, and I haven't got time to even think about it. Alright, that'll work. Alright, that ought to do it. Okay, so now, <clears throat> I'm going to take my scissors, if I can find them, there they are. And I want to cut these up, because I don't want any great big chunks of uh, potato skin in the potatoes. Take that out. Okay. Yeah, so that will make the chunks of the uh, skin smaller. Anyway, because I don't like a lot, lot of skins in mine. and I had to run out to the garden to get these. To make this go a lot faster, I just bend them up. And just bend them over again and start snipping. Drop these two. All right, here we go, snipping up the snipes. Chives, snipping up the, snipping up the chives. with my scissors. full of butter and I'm ready to start smashing these up. Spoonfuls. See how solid it got? Isn't that great? So I'm going to use a couple of big spoonfuls of it. Mix that up. Alright. Let me get that a little taste. Okay. Yeah, 
does need a little more salt. And I'm going to put a little more sour, um, I call it sour cream, it's actually yogurt. Put a little more yogurt in it. Here's what it looks like. All right, let me test it one more time. Make sure, surely it doesn't need any more salt. Perfect, perfect. All right, I'm gonna plate all this up, and I'll, we'll be back and show you what it looks like. Okay, here's our meal already. It took about 25 minutes. And the reason it took that long was because of the potatoes. I had to cook those, so we've got I'll just call them smashed potatoes with some of the peeling on with some chives and um, yogurt. Some baby lima, green baby limas. This is the spinach that I didn't want to go bad. And there's the Salisbury steak. And that's I probably, I'm going to have to guess and say that's probably four ounces. And of course one of the angel biscuits. And these are the last of my angel biscuits. So I'm going to have to make more. And of course we're having our iced tea. now leftover potatoes. So tonight for supper we are most likely going to have potato pancakes and watermelon. I know that sounds weird but I don't really worry about that third meal of the day. I really don't worry about it at all because we get so much nutrition in the uh, breakfast smoothie and then the main meal of the day. All right so there's Mr. Bucky's plate so we will see y'all next time. Did that show up good? I don't know. It looks dark on my screen. All right, we'll see y'all next time.